What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are once again inside of Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise 180 day trial. And as you can tell, we have our 180 day trial set up with 177 days remaining. We also have configured our local area connection to a 192.168.2.3. We have also given it a computer name as well as joining a domain right here. So now, our next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add in a role. We're going to actually install IIS, which is Internet Information Services. So we're going to come over here. We're going to click on Add Roles, and then we're going to choose Next. We're going to simply come down here and choose Web Server IIS. So anything else that we need? Yeah, let's go ahead and do DNS Server. So I'm not really going to use it for anything else except it two things, really. Well, actually, in this case, it's going to be three. A DNS server is a DNS backup, a web server, as well as media server. However, we will do the media server, media server later on. Let's go ahead and click on next. Let's go ahead and click on next. Let's go ahead and click on next. And now we want to check in all the roles that we want to enable. So we're going to come over here. We're going to choose ASP.NET. And then we're going to choose Add Requires Role Services. We're going to go ahead and choose this. And now we're going to choose ASP because ASP is what I use. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Then we're going to come down here to Management Tools. We're going to go ahead and choose this IIS Management Compatibility. And then we're going to choose IIS Management Scripts and Tools and Management Services. Should be good. Let's go ahead and click on Next. And with everything here, let's go ahead and click on Install. Okay, everything has been installed, so let's go ahead and choose close. And if you want to make sure that everything is running properly, we're just going to minimize this. We're going to click here, go here to Administrative Tools. We have IS Manager right here, so we're just going to simply drag this over to here and drop it. We're going to open up our IS Manager. So let's go ahead and click here. So let's go ahead and uh, we want to open up a folder, so let's just go ahead and open this up, and let's go down here to our E drive. Let's go ahead and format it, because it has not been formatted. This is a brand new installation of a Windows 2008 environment, and this is going to be our web media. Click on Start, click on OK. Format complete, close, now we're inside of here. So what we want to do is create some folders. So right here is going to be INET pub. Go ahead and go inside of that, create a new folder, www.root, and then inside of here, we're going to do media. Now, what we want to do is that we want to add in a file to make sure that our web server is, in fact, running ASP Classic Sites. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to choose our notepad, and we're going to simply type in the following, and that is response dot write and then we're going to say hello from dark oh, dark effects and then we're going to save this over here inside of this location as a default dot asp change our type to all files and choose save now we're going to come over here and choose sites and default and then we're going to come over here to basic settings and then we are going to change this because it's automatically set to C, INET, pub, and WW root. I never leave it in its default location. I always go somewhere else and most of my servers is in my G drive. So let's come over here to media, click on OK and then we're going to test setting. And then we get this right here, pass through auth authentication. Uh, that right there is fine. This one right here cannot verify access to this location. Let's go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to choose connect as specify user, choose set. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose administrator. And then type in our password for our administrator. Click on OK. And then click on OK again, and then let's test settings, and there we go. It is now set up. Click OK and click OK again. So what we want to do now is that we want to click here, open up uh, our Google Chrome. 
and we are going to go to then close all that so it doesn't load we want to go to the following location and it should yep there it goes hello from dark effects so asp scripts all working inside of our new environment so that is all good so if asp scripts are working our asp.net is working as well however there will have to be some configurations done so but right now everything is working like i need it to work to get iis up and running on this server so i am wayne baron this is dark effects.net inside of windows 2008 r2 enterprise server y'all have a good one now bye bye